Hi, I'm John Varello. I'm the Global Director for Safe Surgery at Chapago. And in this video, we're going to uh, show you how to uh, create your own uh, low fidelity, low tech uh, box simulator for cesarean section. And the purpose for uh, creating this is uh, twofold. Uh, one is that it gives you an opportunity to practice the surgical technique itself. And it also serves as an anchor for the simulation around using the surgical safety checklist. Uh, so I'm going to start with uh, showing you some of the materials uh, that you'll need to have and then show you how to uh, put, them, uh, put them all together. So the first thing that you'll need is a, a uterus. Um, and uh, you can use a box, a cardboard box, or a plastic uh, bucket uh, for that purpose. It just needs to be a, a depth that will hold a fetus and the placenta, um, and appropriate width that's gonna be mimic the, the uterus uh, it, itself uh, in general. So, so you have a box like this, and then the, uh, the fetus, uh, you, can use, uh, you can use it from the, the, the mama Natalie or neonatally uh, 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 models and the placenta itself here. And when you put the, just remember as you're, as you're doing this is that uh, when you're doing a simulation is to know which way the, the head is facing, right? So if you're going to practice, uh, you know, uh, vertex or cephalic uh, delivery, then make sure that you know where the head is. Same thing for, for breech, uh, breech delivery, so knowing where, where the, the legs are going to be. So the, the uh, fetus uh, goes inside like this along with the, uh, along with the placenta. Now, we're going to look at the layers, uh, the uh, tissue layers, and I'm going to work uh, backwards. So essentially starting with the, with the uterus. So the first layer is, is a uterine layer. And this layer is a fabric layer. It's gonna be a thin layer. You know, and, and ideally use, try to use colors that are uh, you know, close to what you have uh, for your anatomy. So for this is just a thin uh, uh, tissue layer, a fabric layer. And one that's, uh, and it can be pretty low quality because you just wanna be able to cut through easily and be able to bluntly open. Sometimes if you get the, um, uh, a, the more expensive material, it's actually a little bit more difficult to, to bluntly open or tear. So going with the less expensive is actually probably uh, better. So that, that's the uterine layer. So the next layer is the peritoneum layer. And that's the, uh, and what we use for this is, is uh, cling wrap. So for example, uh, so you can use cling wrap. You can also use other materials, but cling wrap uh, tends to work uh, quite well because it's, uh, it's transparent. It's, it, looks very similar to uh, to peritoneum. The next layer is the uh, uh, the rectus muscles. So you have these are going to be thicker. And for this material, uh, what works a little bit better is uh, in contrast to the uterine layer, you want maybe a thicker layer. Um, and so in this case, I use this, it's more like a felt layer um, that uh, that uh, has you know uh, that thickness to it that differentiates it from the, the uterine layer. And ideally what you'll then do is uh, you can fold them over just so you have that thickness to it and then staple, uh, staple at the end. So now, so you have the, kind of the two straps of the rectus muscle uh, for, uh, for this layer. The next layer is the fascia layer. So a uh, thicker kind of white uh, material that again is easy to, uh, so not too thick, but uh, thick enough that uh, that you have that feel for fascia, you can cut through, but you can also bluntly um, uh, uh, dissect open. And so just a, a white uh, a plastic, you can repurpose, um, you, know, you know, potting uh, soil uh, bags or, or anything along that line. The next layer is a subcutaneous layer. And for this, you can use bubble wrap, right? So again, you can have bubble wrap uh, like this, you can use thicker uh, bubble wrap, the issue with uh, the thicker you get with the bubble wrap, the more difficult it is to bring all the layers together. So just keep that in mind when you're, when you're uh, stapling. So uh, this layer, uh, uh, bubble wrap for the uh, subcutaneous layer. Then the last layer is the skin. Um, and uh, again, you can use uh, a material that's similar to the, to the uterine layer. So uh, not you know, very expensive, but uh, it, that uh, cuts through uh, relatively easily. Uh, for the skin. 
So that's uh, the layers. Now, to uh, when you're making the the size of the uh, of e each of the layers, what you want to do is use the the box uh, as your kind of template. So for this, what you do is uh, you can use the the box like this, and what you want is just uh, enough material that uh, overhangs the edges of, of the box. And ideally, what you want is for the uh, the materials to be the same size, so that it's easy to to staple them together, uh, to uh, you know around the, the edges, because you want the layers to, to uh, stay taut and stay stay together. And then once that's stapled, then we'll uh, put that over the the top of the box, and then we'll uh, uh, tape it down with duct tape. So having duct tape available is also uh, is is useful. So now we're going to go ahead and staple the layers together. So make sure that you get all the layers uh, through um, and you staple down and you just keep moving across. So now we're going to go put the uh, layers on top of the uterus. Again, making sure that you know uh, the position of the, of the fetus for your delivery. Then we know where it is and we place the layers on top like this. And now what you'll want to do is just secure the layers with, with the duct tape. And this is where ha having a second person usually is helpful for this, but you can actually just start it yourself on one end. Just get, get duct tape halfway on the material and halfway on the box. And then that starts. And then you just make sure that you, you pull it tight so that you have some tension on it so that you, so it's easy to, to cut through. Okay, so now we've assembled the, the box and now we're going to uh, show you uh, going through the layers. So um, you know, we've already identified the layers and it's good to do that uh, you know, before so, uh, with, the, uh, with the surgical team so that they're familiar with what the layers look like um, as they're going through. So now, uh, so we'll start with this skin incision um, and if, the, if it's nice and tight, then it's gonna be easier to, to cut through obviously. Um, and so you use your landmarks of the, say the symphysis or you're, if you're using your anterior superior iliac spine where you're gonna make the incision and then you just cut through. There's your skin, right? So now we're down to uh, the, the bubble wrap. So for this, we're just gonna cut a little bit in the midline, right? So now we're, we're through the uh, through this up to you for about two to three centimeters in the midline, and now we're going to bluntly extend that. All right, so it reinforces that. Um, so now we're at the level of the fascia. And so you can see that the white layer of the fascia here. So now we're gonna cut through this again. All right? And so now if you want, you can either do it, uh, you can bluntly extend that, or if, uh, if it's tougher, then you can use your scissors to extend uh, your fascial layer there, right? So now we're at the level of the, the rectus muscle. So now we can see that the red felt there, so now we divide that. You know, so you're doing your blunt dissection, your opening uh, for exposure, and now we're down to the level of the uh, peritoneum. And again, with the peritoneum, you can just do blunt, uh, bluntly uh, enter, just like you would Normally, right? So now things are in and you bluntly open the, the peritoneum and you, now you can use your re retractor, right? So your, uh, you can see your, uh, your uterine layer. And so now we're, we're down to the uterus and again, we can do the sharp incision and we're inside and now you do the, the blunt opening of it like that, right? In this case, it's a uh, it's a breech delivery. So I my hand in, I find the legs, and we deliver the breech. And the, the breech is delivered. 
right? And uh, then we do the uh, delayed cord clamping for at least 60 seconds. Then you can go ahead and clamp cord after 60 seconds, pass the baby off, and we deliver the placenta with controlled cord traction. Okay. What's nice about this as well is that, uh, let's say that you're going to do uh, the uterine incision uh, or the incision on this end, then you, you uh, do the procedure, you deliver the baby, then you could just put the baby back inside and you can use the, the other, uh, other side, other end. Uh, so you can get uh, two simulations out of, uh, out of one box. And there you have your C-section uh, simulator.